Hello, Washington County. You've stumbled upon 15 Minutes with Fuzz, one of two podcasts that I know about talking about positive things and interesting people here in Washington County, Wisconsin. I am your host of this year's show, Fuzz Martin. I do appreciate you joining me. A little bit about me. I'm a husband, father, business owner, and I serve on the board of a number of local nonprofits. And I started this here podcast to highlight the good in our community. While there are so many that are seemingly trying to amplify the negative on social media, as, a, as an aside, you guys, you're going to feel so much better if you move Facebook to like the last page of your phone and then turn off notifications. Trust me, it works wonders. Mental health day. So let's shine some light on people doing positive things in our area today. I am speaking with such a fun and dynamic guest. Her name is Tara Gundrum. I'm sure many of you know her. She's a Marine Corps veteran. She's a published author. She's a wife and mother. She works for the county. And she has a fantastic podcast called The Possible Project. Tara joins me today to talk about her background, what inspired her to write a book, and her inspiration for her show. She's so much fun, and I know you're going to enjoy this episode. So here are 15 minutes on The Possible Project podcast with Tara Gundrum on 15 Minutes with Fuzz. Tara, thank you so much for coming in. I have been looking forward to speaking with you ever since you teased the launch of the Possible Project podcast, and now here we are. Yes, Fuzz. Thank you for having me. It is such an honor to be on your show. I love what you're doing. Super positive. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Thanks for coming in. And so before we talk about your show, you've got a super robust background, and I want to find out more about you and how you got here. First of all, you're a United States Marine Corps veteran. Give us a little bit about your background and, you know, when did you join and what was your role in the Marines? Uh, sure. So I, I'm born and raised in St. Louis, Missouri. Okay. And I joined the Marine Corps straight out of high school. I went to a Naval Junior Reserves Officer Training Corps school for high school. And I had my choice between going into the Navy, going into the Marine Corps. And I literally chose the Marine Corps because their uniforms were amazing. <laughs> so joined right out of high school, went to Okinawa, Japan, was there for five years. Okay. And actually, that's where I met my husband, which is how I got back to Wisconsin. My husband's from Allenton and he brought us back here. And this is where we decided to call home and raise our family. Well, we're glad that you're here. First of all, how did being a Marine shape you as a person? I really think that the structure, for one, was really good for me. It's something that I fit into well. And it just gave me, it showed me that there were so many more opportunities to just, you know, where I was raised back home in St. Louis. And I got a chance to meet so many different people mm -hmm. and just learn and grow all the way through. It was really, really a life-changing experience for me and one that I would do all over again. I love the Marine Corps. I love serving my country. Great. How long did you serve? Eight years. Eight years. Great. And... So on top of that, on top of being a Marine, you're also a published author. Tell us about Finding My Possible. What is the book about? The book is really about my life. Every single chapter in the book is a book about a chapter of my life. And I guess really to sum it up is about how I found my possible through other people. Like it, mm -hmm. it was really all about community and every single step of the way you'll find in the book that, you know, I didn't get where I am today by myself. It took really every single chapter and all those people associated with it to allow me to grow, to teach me, to mold me and mm -hmm. to really give me confidence and the ability and also a lot of trust. They trusted me and that allowed me to grow. So that's really what the book is about, how I, how I found my possible. Where can people find Finding My Possible? So it is available on Amazon. Okay. Uh, you can always just go type in, you know, Finding My Possible by Tara Gundrum and it'll come right up. Um, there's also a link to it on my website, taragundrum.com. I've always been amazed by people who can have the both structure and focus to write a book. How, what was the writing process like for you? So it's so funny when I, when I first started it, I literally Googled how to write a book Okay, <laughs> and I joined a self-publishing school and okay. that's how I got pretty much the idea of what I needed to do. And from there, I would just, I kind of mind mapped every single chapter and then I would literally get in my car and press. I bought this little app called Otter. I would oh, yeah. just kind of speak into my phone exactly what I was thinking around the topics on that piece of paper. And before you know it, by the time I got to work, I had, you know, a good portion of the chapter complete. 
And I would just kind of go through it and edit it from there. But it, it was really like just getting the words on paper for me. Yeah. That's that's what worked. And it allowed the the kind of thought process to just flow. Sure. Yeah. Certainly. I always find that when I have ideas, my brain goes a lot faster than my fingers. So yes. uh, I, I think using a transcription service like Otter is a, a great way to get get that down. I remember my dad when I was a kid had a little uh, mini recorder. That yeah. Record yeah. stuff in. Uh, so th- that's great. And then, uh, so when did the book, when did you publish the book? Uh, about two years ago. Okay. Um, so the, the self-publishing school uh, course that I took had a tagline, blank page to publish author in 90 days. So right. I, I was like, if I'm going to spend my money on this, I really want to give it my all. And yeah. literally I did it in 80, 87 days. Oh, wow. Yep. And published just before Thanksgiving of 2020. So are they using you as a testimonial now? <laughs> um, they're, they're, they're just a really good source. Yeah. So um, there's a lot of testimonies like that out there. Good, good. Well, that's, uh, that's amazing. And I applaud you for having the focus again to get it done and to actually sitting down and doing it because that's a lot of people have ideas, including me <laughs> that don't come to fruition. <laughs> well, thank you. Appreciate that. Yeah, you're very welcome. On top of all that, you're also uh, of being a Marine and an author. You're also a wife and mother. So tell us a bit about your family. Yeah. So like I said, my, uh, my husband, Jason, he's from Allenton. We've been married for 22 years and I have two daughters. One is 21 and <laughs> she is just about to come back home here. And I have a 15 year old. Okay. Yes. Yes. As a father of a 17 year old heading <laughs> off to college. And so like a little bit of a interesting time and knowing what's coming up next and like, okay, fly a little bird. Yes. Hope, hope everything goes well. Let's tie this all back to the show. So showcasing all the positive around Washington County. You live in Washington County, obviously, but you also work in Washington County, right? Yes. So I am the executive assistant to our Washington County executive. So that's kind of like how I got a chance to really get to know you through Mm -hmm. all of your community involvement. So yeah, that's where I work. And I'm also part of uh, several community clubs, you know, the the Noon Rotary Club. Sure. I also do just a lot of volunteer work all throughout the community. So wherever I can be of assistance, I just really enjoy it. That's great. That's great. Well, we're glad to have people like you here in our community that are, are are out and helping others and and being a part of making the community better for everybody. Let's talk about the Possible Project podcast. What inspired you to start the show? So I kind of alluded to this earlier. I meet so many cool people every day. There are people who influence my life. There are friends through the various volunteer work that I do, whether it's through church or through Rotary or through my job. I just meet so many cool people and I get to know a little bit about their story. But the thing is, you only know who they are on the surface. You only know the person that you meet in that moment. And it's kind of nice to unpack that story because in that story, I think there are a lot of resources. Mm -hmm. There are probably great motivational pieces that will allow a person to keep going. And I really want to unpack their stories and share it because I believe that it will inspire others who maybe are on the same track Or maybe there's someone out there who's just kind of nervous about taking that next step. But through these stories, we can tell that it's not all perfect. Sometimes it's messy, Mm -hmm. but sometimes it's great. And if you just have the understanding of how to reach out or who to reach out to, that you too could possibly find your possible. So hence the name, spinning off of the book, Find My Possible is the Possible Project Podcast. Absolutely. That's great. And I think it's important for people to know, like successful people didn't get there. It's not a linear trajectory to get to being somebody that people look at as being successful. A lot of times there's ups and downs or lots of downs and finally an up. And Absolutely. And those. So tell us about uh, who are some of the guests that you've had on the show so far? Oh, well, I'm going to kind of talk about some of the guests here, very local to Washington County. So okay. so I, I have a youth pastor from my church, from Life Church in Germantown. I also have... Keith Novotny, he's like one of the favorites around here, right? Um, One of the shows that's actually about to air soon is Joe Irado. He is the one of the owners of Spalding Clinical, but also a great hockey buddy of mine. And he's also a podcast host of Locations Unknown, which is super cool. Very Mm. excited about that. And then let's just see, Stuart Sachs, uh, some of you may have heard of the Koa Daughterman from Washington County Foster Closet. Mm -hmm. And then lastly, really amazing couple out of Slinger, Matt and Melissa Tyson. So that's just like to whet the appetite, but there's so much more coming. That's very good. That's awesome. And Keith's a fun interview. Oh, yeah. And I, Koa, well, actually, uh, Washington County Foster Closet was one of our my first episodes. So it was, it's a great cause, and it's it's super good to see that people like you are helping the 
keep that promotion of, of them going because they deserve every every word that somebody speaks to them. Oh, but yeah, really doing great things over there. The show's tagline is stories about everyday people doing extraordinary things. What kind of guests are you looking for into the future of the show? Oh, well, I'll give a little teaser into some lineups here. So coming soon, we have Tiffany Kaler out of Slinger. She's actually a fellow veteran, and she was very instrumental in bringing a project called the I Am Not Invisible Project, which highlights veterans that are from Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. So that's super cool. Literally working right now with Jordan Stoltz, super inspirational young man out of Kewaskum who just came back from the Olympics. Mm -hmm. And gosh, we have (laughs) like police week coming up so i have like an officer that i'm gonna save the 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 name for because i think it's just gonna be super cool so i really just gotta say man folks should tune in if they want to hear some of this goodness that's going on yeah definitely i i absolutely agree how can people listen to the show so the show is on literally every podcast platform Mm -hmm. so it can be found there if you'd like to go to my website which is the possible project podcast.com you can Mm -hmm. subscribe from there and also facebook instagram twitter wherever You're on social. Yeah. All the places that we need to be. All the places. Speaking of that, what do you find to be your biggest challenge in podcasting? I think the biggest challenge is really to stay focused and true to the mission of why I started it. I think some podcasters, podcasters can easily get caught up in the hype of wanting the numbers, the likes, the stats, right? You know, I'm not going after the big stats. There mm-hmm. there are people already doing that. I want this show to be about the everyday people, you know, mm-hmm. the people that you see in the grocery store, the people you see at the doctor's office. You know, these people are living amazing lives as well. Mm-hmm. We're just not famous, right? But right. we're still amazing people, amazing human beings. I love it. Absolutely. No, that's great. How often do you publish new episodes of the show? Every single Wednesday, once Every a Wednesday. week. Yeah. Okay. It's always hard, like, picking, okay, which day of the week am I going to do it? And I've kind of learned over the time, it's just, you pick the day, and then you do the day, and then everybody just expects it on the day, and then... I literally picked Wednesday for sure, because you had Monday. I'm like, I can't do a (laughs) podcast local to Washington County if Fuzz is already out on Monday. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, Wednesday's a good day. And, you know, really, (laughs) any any day. day. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) Any day's a good day. So, like, Wednesday's good, because, you know, you can, like, be like, oh, I got to listen to tear a show while mowing the lawn this weekend or, you know, that kind, yeah. of, that kind of stuff. So where can people learn more about you, your book and your show? Again, you said the possible project podcast.com for the podcast, but if they want to find your book and such, where can they? Um, well, everything is kind of like uh, brought together on my website, which okay. is Tara And you have two R's in Tara, right? Yes. So Tara, T A R R A Gundrum.com. That's great. And I'm really impressed with what you're doing on your show congratulations to you for one starting and two keeping it going because those are the two hardest parts of doing all of this and i'm looking forward to seeing big things out of you outstanding i really appreciate it thanks so much for having me on the show we're going to keep grinding and doing it together and you never know what comes up here in the future thanks again to tara gundrum of the possible project podcast and author of finding my possible for joining me on this week's episode I've got tons of great guests lined up, but I am always looking for more. If you have an idea for the show, please reach out to me. Go online, go to fuzz, F-U-Z-Z dot C-C slash guest, fuzz dot C-C slash guest. Launch a new episode every Monday at midnight, but you don't have to listen to it then. You can listen to it whenever you want to listen. You can listen to it a week from now if you want. I just appreciate you coming by. If you want to learn more about the show, check it out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. I know you told me to turn off Facebook earlier. Anyway, it's there, spreading positivity. Handles on all three of those shows are at 15 with Fuzz. You can also visit my website, 15withfuzz.com. Thanks again for tuning in, and we'll talk to you next Monday right here on 15 Minutes with Fuzz.